my YouTube channel. If it is your first time joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. I really, really hope that you do stay, you subscribe, and you become a part of the CX family. Yeah. As I'm sure you guys can all see by the title of today's video, today I'm going to be recreating this Kylie Jenner inspired hair look. I saw this on her 22nd birthday collection photo shoot and I really really liked it so I decided to try myself out. I think it looks really really good. I think I got it like to the T so you guys let me know what do you guys think. Do you think I got it down or do you think it looks really different because that'll be awkward. <laughs> I have collaborated with Beauty Forever Hair to give you guys this recreation. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. This hair is stunning. You guys will see it throughout the video as I style it. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So first things first, as you guys know, I'm going to be giving you guys the specs about this hair. Basically, this hair is a wig that I got from Beauty Forever Hair. It is absolutely stunning it is a 12 inch wig and it is a 13 by 4 wig that's why as you guys can see i'm able to um tie it all the way back here so there is a lot of space to part what i will say is that for the front it is not all the way um back for the front you'll just get this much parting space this much parting space and then here backwards it is tracks so i do want to let you guys know that uh because i was also a little bit shocked by that so i did want to let you guys know but yeah guys other than that i had an amazing experience with the hair i honestly was so freaking shocked when i got the hair out of the package and it was so soft i thought that when i'd wash it or after i'd wash it rather it would actually like not be as soft as when i initially got it because when i initially got it guys it was so soft like i was like no i'm scared to wash this but i ended up having to wash it because of course i bleached the knots and to my surprise well not really to my surprise i really had a lot of faith in beauty forever hair to be honest um so after i washed it the hair was as soft as before which i absolutely love the hair is top 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 quality i've watched a lot of beauty forever reviews and everybody speaks highly of them so i'm super excited or i was super excited rather to get to the hair and i'm actually seeing that you know what it wasn't just hype there is something that they are talking about here they're really saying something but yeah guys that's pretty much it if you guys would like any more information on the hair do check out my description box and if you guys would like to purchase the hair again links will be in the description box below if you guys want to find out any of the products that i use to create this look also check out the description box below and without further ado let's get straight and the video what's up my good people we are back again with another voice over you already know what it is um <laughs> first things first i'm sectioning off my hair and what i'm going to be doing now is straightening my hair you guys already know the drill i think you guys have seen me straighten my hair enough times now so i will come back when the hair is all straight
okay now that i'm done feeling myself <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and section off the bit that is gonna make this a high load look so basically the top ponytail um as i told you guys you can't obviously part this hair wherever so here i'm just seeing where i can actually um part the hair and actually then form the ponytail so yeah this takes a lot of work i'm not gonna lie like i literally spent a good 15 minutes doing this um i'm gonna go ahead and apply water just so that um the hair moves and sways in the direction that i wanted to sway in you guys will see that i also do end up adding mousse and this is also gonna help in this regard because if you guys will notice when the hair is completely dry it is very i don't want to say it's stiff but it just doesn't move to your di the, the direction that you want it to go easily so yeah adding water and mousse is always the best way to go if you're trying to get it to do what you want it to do you know what i'm saying So as you guys will notice i did have to change a rubber band because my one broke what a lol but now i'm actually going to be bumping the ends and i'm going to be bumping them outwards you would normally see people bumping them inside but we're obviously trying to achieve kylie jenner's look and she did this sort of old hollywood type of vibe where she curled it out so that's what i'm doing i'm using this mini straight and i have no idea where it's from I'm not gonna lie to you guys i got it in a pr package um last year sometime so i really don't know where it's from i'm gonna try and find the details and i'll leave it down below if i do end up finding them but all i'm doing yeah is just bumping the ends this was really easy this took me like five minutes to do so yeah this is a pretty quick hairstyle if you ask me and it's really stylish it looks very high fashion so yeah guys that's pretty much it loved making this look for you guys i love doing these really creative looks because i don't always do them so when i get the chance to just you know get a little bit creative get a little bit out of the box i always take that opportunity and you know what i'm actually going to wear this out one day today i'm wearing this out but y'all guys thank you so much for watching my video if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe we are hashtag roads 25k please get on this bandwagon because we're moving we're pushing 25k by the end of october subscribe right now if you haven't already like this video if you guys enjoyed it and of course i'll see you all in my next video bye